I finally updated my gear. I got the Sedici Garda waterproof jacket and pants. Inexpensive, great quality and comfortable. And I will tell you the best feature of all is that you can leave your backpack at home with this jacket. Stay tuned, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today continue to leave video suggestions but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through i like lightweight gear but i want it to protect me um sometimes i get tired of wearing leathers you know because they can weigh weigh you down and uh you know i like comfortable gear but like i said i want to be safe i want to have sea armor like this jacket has sea armor at the elbows and the shoulders and you can add a back protector uh, with this particular jacket but i have this airbag vest that actually has a, a back protector on it and it inflates uh, for further safety i recommend all of you guys get an airbag vest Okay, let's get into the features of this jacket and pants. I want to show you why they're so amazing. First off, you can't beat the low price for all that you get with this jacket. I mean, 230 bucks, and it does come in three different colors. And you get a great deal with the pants as well, only 190 bucks. So you get full body protection with the jacket and pants for $420. I'll be honest with you, my main attraction to this Sedici Garter jacket is not only its cool looks, and it does look good, but the fact that you don't have to bring a backpack because this jacket has all kinds of storage on the front and back of this jacket. On the front, it has two expandable cargo pockets that can fit a lot of stuff, and on the rear, it has a large pocket specifically for a water bladder with a hose pass-through, which is the main reason why I even bring a backpack for the most part. And get this, it also has a huge cargo pocket where you can put in your gauntlet gloves or even your heated gloves like I do. So it's like you have a built-in backpack in the jacket. I love this feature. Now I can just whip out my extra pair of gloves in the back of my jacket with ease and quickness. This jacket is absolutely perfect for this time of the year here in the spring. And also I would use it in the fall and in the winter time I would just layer up even though right now it's a 40 degree day and I have just a t-shirt underneath. Uh, when it starts to get hot, you can open the vents up, which you see me doing right now. They have uh, zipper vents at the torso, bicep, and rear exhaust vents. As far as the pants, it has two large zippered vents at the thighs that flow a nice amount of air. I'm 6 foot, 175 pounds, and I'm wearing a large in the jacket and a large in the pants. Uh, what's awesome about this jacket as well is that it has great adjustability. It has adjustable straps at the hip, waist, cuff forearm and biceps and it has snaps at the hip as well where you can make adjustments and when it comes to the pants i love the bottom zipper portion that expands out that allows you to easily put the pant cuff over the boots and also i love the zipper deep waterproof pockets that these pants have to offer for additional storage i must say the jacket and pants fit real nice not too tight not too loose just the way i like it as far as protection, it does have level 2C armor at the shoulders and elbows, and you can add an optional back protector at an additional cost. And it does have 1200D reinforcement at the high impact areas at the shoulders and elbows. As far as protection for the pants, it does come with level 2C armor at the knees, which are adjustable to three positions. And you can put in CE armor at the hips at an additional cost. It doesn't come with it. I just took out the hip armor from my previous pants and put them into these pants with no problems. Although this jacket has reflective striping for good visibility and you can add an optional back protector, I would highly recommend that you get this airbag vest which I have a link to along with my other gear in the description and comment section of this video because not only does this airbag vest have great visibility but it has a built in back protector. And also, if you get thrown from the bike, it will inflate and protect your neck, back, and all your vital organs, and essentially keep you from having a real effed up day. Okay, so let's put this Sedici jacket and pants to the test out here on the streets. And this day I happen to ride 5 hours straight in 40 degree weather with just a t-shirt underneath the jacket. And I did have all the vents closed on the jacket and pants, and I must say I was really comfortable, 
anything colder than this I would definitely put a layer underneath the jacket and if it were warm out I'd have all the vents open and I did get a chance to ride with all the vents open on the pants and jacket and it flows a nice amount of air I could see myself riding this gear up to about 80 degrees anything warmer than that and I would definitely put on my uh, CE armor jacket which I did a review on and I do have a link to it in the description and comment section of this video and that jacket flows a ton of air uh, but this jacket and pants set is absolutely amazing for spring, fall, and even in the winter time. Like I said, you just need to layer up underneath it. Um, I really like this jacket and pants set. It's nice and lightweight. It's comfortable. Um, I love the fact that I don't have to wear a backpack, which can compromise the safety of that airbag vest, which I recommend everybody get. Um, that is a new helmet, by the way. I recently did a review on it. I'll include the video link in the description and comment section of this video. Uh, it's a Bell carbon fiber helmet. It comes with a transition shield, which is amazing. When it's overcast like this and dark out, it's clear. But if the sun shines, it automatically darkens up perfectly. And it's snail rated, super lightweight, absolutely amazing. Looks awesome too. Uh, like I said, I have a link to that helmet in the description and comment section of this video. And if you're going to be heading out on the highway and doing super triple digit speeds out there on your sport bike skies, you're probably going to want to wear full leathers. Uh, to help keep you from getting skin abrasion. I do have a link to all my leathers, you know, my, my leather jacket, pants, and everything in the description and comment section of this video as well. But overall, guys, I highly recommend this jacket and pants set, man. I, I really, really enjoy this gear. If it were crap, guys, you wouldn't see this video. You know, I, I only wear quality gear. And if you have any questions about the, the jacket and pants set, please feel free to leave a comment. I love to talk with you guys and I always answer your questions as best as I can. I really appreciate all you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my All the One Motorcycle channel. Till next time, catch you guys later. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.